Hi, my name is Idalise Baez, and I'm going to be doing a demo on how to use our Data Direct Connect driver to connect to MongoDB. I'm going to start off by showing you the ODBC administrator and how to add a connection to MongoDB. So I'm going to show you the configuration. And here, you're going to enter a data source name some sort of identifier for you. So for mine, I put test MongoDB. If you want, you can add a description. I left this one blank. You need to enter the host name, the port number, and if you want to use the schema tool, you need to enter in a name for the database. The schema path, I put my schema path in my user's document. And so using the schema tool, we can take a look at what we are connecting to. So you can see that we have our admin, and we can see the, the system users table. Or you can go down to the ODBC table. You can take a look and see where everything is. This is a nice little handy tool to take a look at what you'll be connecting to. So closing that schema tool. So when you want to test the connection and make sure that you have an established connection, you're going to want to enter your username and password connection has been established. So I'm going to click OK here. So now I'm going to be showing you how to access this data through Microsoft Excel in order to create some reports. And there are two ways to do this. You can either access the data from Microsoft Query, which is here under Data and from other sources, or you can insert a pivot table, which is over here, Insert Pivot Table. I'm going to start by showing you how to do Microsoft Query. So when you click From Other Sources and From Microsoft Query, you can take a look at all of the data sources that you've created using the ODBC Administrator. And we can find our MongoDB connection that we had just created. So I'm going to click OK on that. And it's going to ask you to enter your username and password. I'm going to leave this database field blank and it has now established the connection. And using this query wizard, we can take a look at all of these tables and we can choose which tables and columns we want to include in this report. So I am gonna find this G table. I want to take a look at this column and maybe one more right here. So I now have selected the columns that I want in my report. And I could, if I wanted to, filter out this data using this wizard. So I could say within the tiny integral column, only select things that are greater than and then select a value. I'm going to leave these blank for now. I could also decide what I want everything to be sorted by. So let's say I want everything to be sorted by the date and let's do ascending. So now I can return the selected data to Microsoft Excel or to Microsoft Query. I'm going to do it in Excel. And I'm going to do it to a new worksheet. So I know that this is a very simple example, but I want to demonstrate how to create a graph using this data that I just pulled out. So if I wanted a scatter plot, I could then select this data. And let's have this right here. Let's just say I wanted January 12th. And here's the Y values for January 12th. Click OK. And here is a plot of the data that I have just extracted. Nice and simple example of how this can be used. So next I'm going to show you how to insert a pivot table. So for this, you need to start by adding a connection through Microsoft Excel. So you go to Data Connections, and you're going to click Add. You want to select Browse for More. Connect to New Data Source, Other Advanced, and then go to your Connection and you can take a look on this drop down for the connection that we established in the ODBC administrator. So test MongoDB. 
and you're going to want to enter the username and password. We can test this connection and it succeeded. So we're going to click OK. And now, again, we can select the tables that we want. So I'm going to scroll down to the same G table and I'm going to click Next. You could change the name if you wanted. I'm just going to click Finish. So this is telling me that it already exists, so I'm going to replace it and now close. So from there, I can now insert my pivot table. And you're going to want to select Use an External Data Source. Choose a connection, and you can now see the connection that we created, the G-Table connection. I'm going to open that. I'm going to put it in a new worksheet. And now here are all of the fields within that G-Table. So I could now select several of these fields and populate some data. I'm going to just select a few. I'm going to select the date. I'm going to select an integer column and one more, the tiny integer column. So now that we have selected the data that we want to look at, I'm going to show you how to populate a graph with this. I'm also going to show you how to add a filter so that we are looking at the data that we are most interested in. It will also help make the graph look cleaner so that we don't have 300 or more points in one graph. So I want to filter out by date. So I'm going to go to the date column. And I'm going to go to label filters. And there are lots of different options here. But I'm going to do the contains. And let's say that I want it to be the year 1992. So I'm going to say contains 1992. And I'm going to click OK. And now, all I'm looking at on the left is data that has 1992. It's much shorter than before. I've cut out all those other years. So from there, go to the Options and click on Pivot Chart. And now I can select which type of graph I want. I'm going to choose this line chart. Click OK. And here is my data. And it has already populated everything for you. You can see the dates on the x-axis, and you can see both the sum of the integer column in blue and the tiny integer column in red. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to find out any more information about the DataDirect Connect driver for ODBC or any of our other drivers, please go to progress.com products.